All right. Close your eyes. So you might rest your hands at your legs. You might bring your hands together in a soft position. You might bring one hand to the heart and one to the tummy. You might bring two to the tummy, two to the heart. Taking a moment to hold mindfulness for where your hands go. And as we're breathing, you might change their position. And we'll just take a few moments to breathe settling into the seat. Checking into your natural breath and letting it expand little by little. your breathing. Take a moment to scan through your body from the top of the head, relaxing through the eyes and the forehead, relaxing the temples, relaxing the jaw, relaxing through the back of the neck. Through the top of the shoulders, the arms and fingers. And the breath into the chest and softening. Through the back muscles. Feeling the softness of your breath in your abdomen. Noticing and softening through your pelvis and hips. Through your legs, your ankles, your feet and your toes. Ease the hands together at the heart, taking a moment to hold gratitude for being here. And we'll easily let that go. Good. Bring your hands to your legs and we'll just start easy cat cow. So the suggestion to, you know, relax something is, can be a tall order, right? It's like, I might notice that my shoulders are very tense, but I'm not gonna just let them relax. It's just not gonna happen, but maybe like 5%, maybe 10%. Acknowledging that they are there, that they're holding tension, just, does that same thing, it just opens up the ability to even consider changing a pattern. 
say with that idea of going with the flow, if I notice at least there's an opportunity there. It's all a journey. It's all just what it is. Cat cows and come up to roll the shoulders. Oh. I like to move my head a little bit when I roll the shoulders, just like a little easy movement side to side. Draw the shoulders down and let the head move a little more side to side. Not pulling, not straining. Bring the chin up through center, stretch your arms out and up. Interlace the fingers to press up, get that stretch through the shoulders, through the side, a little through the wrists, through the fingers. Give yourself a big hug, releasing side to side, hug across your body, ground in. Take the arms up and we'll come into a little forward fold, just as much as feels good to you. Slowly walking your hands forward, exhale, soften your heart downward. Walk your hands back up, bring them behind you to lift up through the front body. Shoulders down and towards each other. Exhale, let that go. If you'd like to change your leg position, go ahead, continuing cat cow. Make your cat cows like center them in the lower back. So it might get smaller and you're using your like lower abdomen more. Draw that up to the middle belly, middle back. Don't strain, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I find myself like we're trying really hard there. Up a little higher, kind of going to like where the ribs come together, not quite at the chest. Up a little higher into the upper back and chest. Noticing how the shoulders want to join the party there. Up even higher, getting the neck and the throat involved. Expanding, contracting, expanding, and even through the top of the head. Noticing that it's like you're pointing with your crown. And one more full body. Big inhale, big exhale. Come upright, roll the shoulders, and we'll stretch out again, side to side, big reach up. Interlace the fingers, press up, stretch through the sides. Hug to the opposite leg. Take the arms across, opposite leg, lean back, round in, relax your head. Shoulders down. Reach up. Easy forward fold. Take a breath, relax. And walk your hands back, press into your fingers gently, lift up the heart, shoulders towards each other and down. And let it go. 
Let's go ahead and roll into table and keep flowing through cat cows. Warming up. Good. Take the hands forward and come up to down dog. Keep your jaw soft, the back of the neck soft. You might even notice that area, kind of like the little hollow areas at the very top of the neck. Couple more breaths here in your down dog. Notice if your ankles are rolling in or out. And take your time coming all the way forward. Bend into the knees, slowly rise up, reach up. Exhale, arms to your sides in your mountain pose. Roll the shoulders. And inhale, stretch up. Exhale, forward fold. Relax your neck. We'll take a couple halfway lifts to forward folds, just making some space here. Lengthen, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, full. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Stay here for a couple more breaths. Letting go of the back of the neck. Letting go of the jaw. Good, we'll come into a little half lift and step back into plank pose. Breathe, knees up or down. Keep breathing. The next exhale, lift up your hips to down dog. The toes step forward and enter to you. And come all the way forward. Halfway lift, forward fold. Slowly rise up. Reach up. Relax the arms. Inhale, start again, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift into plank pose. Hold it and breathe. Activate the hands like they're moving towards each other. Front body is a plank. Good, this time come down, all the way down. Cobra. Exhale, push back to down dog. Awesome, come all the way forward. Half lift, forward pull. Rise up, slow breath, reach up, release the arm. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift into plank pose.
in your plank pose, take care of yourself, take care of your knees, but soften one knee and push into the other heel. So you're just making a little stretch. Back and forth. Keep your neck aligned. Jaw soft. And slowly come down. Cobra. Exhale back to down dog. Stretch your left leg up. Breathe here. Level out your hips. Soften into your right heel. Keep that leg lifting. Press into the hands, lift up through your heel. And we'll bring that foot forward and rise up. Present lunge. Sometimes as I come up, I take a little moment for my wrists, little circles. Just taking care of them when you can. Breathe in your crescent lunge. We're gonna ease through um, flying in warrior three airplane to step forward. So if you need to take your back foot forward a little bit first, or just breathe, inhale, and exhale to bring your foot down. Mountain. Great, inhale to lift up, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale to half lift, exhale to step in a plank. Come through your chaturanga. Cobra, up dog. Exhaling back to down dog. Good, right leg up, level it out, scan through your body, ground into the other heel, lift that leg maybe a little higher without rotating it, press into the hands, breathe, soft jaw, soft eyes, it's okay, and we'll take that foot to step forward into crescent lunge. Soften in. All right, we're going to fly into it. Fly, inhale, and land. Gentle. Inhale, reach up. Forward fold. Halfway lift, step back into plank pose. Hold your plank. Draw your knees down. Sorry to tell you, <laughs> bring your forearms down. Lift back up to a forearm plank. So the neck tends to wanna to like hang down. Activate the front of the neck a little bit to draw the chin in, keeping the neck aligned. Turn to your forearm side plank. Breathe. Change. Either side, whichever one you started with is fine. and change. Roll all the way down. Create a little cobra. Push back to down dog. Good, 
Stretch your right leg up. If you want a scorpion or rotate, just noticing what you're doing. Step the foot forward, bring your back foot to warrior one. Stand in your warrior one. Then we're gonna fly and land back into warrior one. Fly. Activate that upper back to hold your arms. Bring your toes and your heel back down. Arms up. Lengthen out your front leg and come into pyramid. Take care of that front knee. Little by little, relaxing with your breath. Bend the knee, use your core to rise up. Fly. Mountain pose, land. Stand in mountain pose, take a breath. Inhale, stretch up. Forward fold, let go. Halfway lift, exhale to step back into your plank pose. Option for side plank with your hands or on the forearms, your choice. Option to have the top arm up or at your hip. Option to lift up your top leg. Change side. Keep breathing. And come out. Come all the way down. Little cobra. Exhale back to down dog. Stretch up through the left leg. Scorpion or rotate. Set that foot forward, back foot warrior one. Here we are. Fly into your warrior three airplane. I like airplane with the arms to the sides. Activating the upper back. Land your back foot to warrior one. Arms up. Lengthen out your leg to pyramid. Bend into your knee, come up, fly, and land, mountain. Come down to chair. Bring the hands to the heart, lean back through the hips, chair, twist to the left. Keeping the knees level, the feet level, the hips level. Unravel. 
never talked about that. I'm not going to right now, but there's a lot of mindfulness in coming out of a twist and back up. Just consider your back. Come down and twist. So we come down and then twist. I would say probably a healthy practice would be to unravel and then rise up. That makes sense. Good, step out wide onto your mat. Just little motions like that can be like no big deal unless one time it goes wrong, your back goes, ah! <laughs> Stretch up, wide forward fold. Good. Let's bend a little into each knee, side to side. Bend into the knees and rise up. Set up into uh, warrior two to the left. Draw in through the front body, draw in through the ribs. Try to expand a little bit, like softening the back. Bring the hands behind you, interlace the fingers. Only if it's okay. You don't have to do that if you feel dizzy or lightheaded easily and you want to make sure you're all right. Draw your head inside of the knee, keeping that knee level with the toe. Humble warrior two. Three. Slowly use that core to rise up, release the arms. Lengthen out in a triangle. The core works a little differently when the hands um, are in a bind like that. They, uh, you rely more on that inner strength somehow. Good. Slowly rise up, bending that knee, reverse your warrior. And we'll take a big stretch into a side angle. And slowly come up, rotate back into your wide forward fold. Stretch side to side. Bend your knees and come up. Open out to the right. Settle in. Remember, lots of space through the fingers, across the chest, all the way through the other hand. Soft jaw, if you need to open your mouth a little bit, close it again. Remembering if you rest your tongue gently on this, um, the palate, a little bit behind your top teeth, tends to cue a little more softness. You're gonna draw the hands behind you, interlace the fingers, draw the hands downward and round in. Breathe. 
come up, release the arms into triangle. It's interesting how things are different side to side. Triangle. Bend the knee, set up to reverse your warrior up and over. And slide into your side angle. Big stretch. Come out, rotate back, flying forward fall. Taking a moment doing what feels good and controlling your shoulders. Stretching side to side or coming into your twist, whatever feels right for you. And we'll just slowly rise up. Bring the feet back together, shake them out. Take a moment in mountain pose. Arms at your sides, feeling your feet on the ground. Noticing any sensations in your legs, outer legs, in your hips, your back. Just noticing how your breath is flowing, how your shoulders feel, how your hands feel. Let's come into tree pose, taking the right leg up first. Open out into your tree. Any expression of your arm. Allow the arms to slide down, coming out. Stand back in your mountain pose for a breath. And change sides. Letting the arms come down light, coming out, stand into mountain. Easy quad stretch, taking the right foot behind you. Use the support of a wall if you need to. Remember to start with your foot a little flexed if you tend to point your foot first. Just try to like flex it a little before you come into a stretch feeling. If you're in the stretch already and then you flex your foot, it might be painful to the quads. It might be too much. If you can take that knee back up, hug it up, and then let it go. Change sides.
Good. If you can, bring that knee up. Back it up high using the strength of the forearm, shoulders down. A little wobbly. <laughs> and let it go. Good. Um, if you have a block around, it might help you. I do want to do a half moon today. It's just coming up as something that wants to happen. Um, I have a nice couch right here that I might use to hold on to. You can just use your fingers to the ground, but as you probably know, if your arm has a little more um, length and lift to it, it'll help the sides stay open. So you'll stay in more of a kind of triangle shape than like rotating downward. So uh, you know it, go ahead and take the feet a little bit wide, not too wide, just a little more than hip width. Take the right foot out hand to the back hip. This helps to notice like if my shoulder stays back, my elbow stays level, everything's in the same direction, I can kind of notice where I'm at in that way. So if I bring my hand down to whatever's right, I can gauge, is my elbow pointing up or is it pointing out to the side? All and over completely. Come in and out as you, well, beautiful word, awesome. Just ease out. If you're in balancing poses and you find your standing foot shifting around, just ease out to where you can uh, realign and reconnect to the ground and just come back in. It's okay. All right, other side. Strong standing leg, strong standing knee, use the quads to support your knee. And ease out. All right, go ahead and step back to the front of your mat. We will be coming down and coming into pigeon pose. So just know that's where we'll be going eventually. But for now, forward fold at the front of your mat. Of course, just letting you know in case you want to take figure four instead. Come down to tabletop. Cat cow. And you'll be able to come up to a down dog for pigeon or change into a figure four. So I'm gonna lift up to down dog. Keeping the left leg up and bringing that knee forward. Of course, your figure four could be in a seat, it could be reclined, it could be any other pose. Settling into your pose.
Take your time switching out. And in out. We'll all come down into uh, child's pose. Take your time. If you were in a back bend in pigeon pose and you want to just sort of take a cat cow, easing into it until you feel ready to sink back. Spread the needle in, in child's pose or come up to your table. Left arm up, thread it through. Unravel. And throw the needle the other way. Slowly come out. And we'll make our way up to it. Turning together with our butterfly. Butterfly forward fold. Come up, take the left leg out to the side and ease our way into that big stretch. Lifting up, turn the heart to the foot and slow fold over your leg. Take your time with this fold, breath by breath, sinking in a little more, noticing the feelings that come up, the sensations that come up, the urges that come up.
walk your hands up and we'll take it to that side stretch drawing the hand down the leg the other one up and over towards the foot press your hand into your leg to rise back up change sides it's really nice to have a couch right behind me to practice actually it's like lots of support there Lift and turn. And come up. Side stretch. Start high. Make your way over. And back. Good. Let's see, what do we need here? Okay, come into a comfortable leg position. If it's cross, whatever it is. We're just gonna do a little side stretch more, bringing the left hand down to the side. Reach up. You can work with your breath here, feeling into the sides. Not dropping down, lengthening out. Slowly change. Notice if there's any point where the jaw clenches up or any areas where you hold your tension, anything grips too much. Come back up. Let's take um, both feet, both legs forward. You might need to pad underneath your tailbone or just keep your knees bent a little bit. We're gonna take another back stretch here and I just, um, you might work on stretching your legs. You might work on stretching your back. Both certainly happen but you can concentrate more on one or the other. If I bend my knees more and I lift up and stretch forward, like a forward fold here, I can give more attention to my back. Doing both is a bit like um, pulling on a rubber band. I'm holding onto the feet or the legs and drawing forward, draw the head forward. Alrighty, come back up and let's go ahead and lay down. Hug the knees. You can take the knees together, making them circles. Change direction of the circle. Take the knees, opposite direction circles. So we're just opening a little bit.
and change direction of that. I know my coordination is like, what? <laughs> Good, bring the feet down, rock the knees side to side. Coming to bridge pose, draw the hips up, exhale. <sighs> Lift up the heels and roll down. Reset and do it again. Lift up. And roll down. Again, and roll down. If you like wheel pose, you could do this last one as wheel pose or your bridge pose. One more time, go. And come down. Draw the knees side to side. We'll be setting up to twist. Shift your hips over to the left. Take the knees up and to the right. Come out to the other side. Recentering. If you want to take your legs up. Now here I have the back on the ground, anchoring through the core. Run your hands down the back of the legs towards the feet. And here we can center our um, awareness onto the legs. Let it go. Rock your knees side to side. And we'll take a moment, of course, for any poses you might be drawn to doing right now. If you want to do your plow and shoulder stand. If there's more twisting, butterfly, just stretching. Oh, 
my mess. Happy baby. And then do a happy baby. How funny. Another couple of breaths. And settle into your Shavasana when you're ready. Taking this time to just be here.